Alright guys, this is the Michael Myers fanatic back with another video. I told you that if I had time, I would do a reaction to Nick Castle returning as Michael. Um, I want to let you guys know that I have nothing against him. I thought he did great in the first Halloween. As we go throughout this video, I'll explain why I don't support his return. Here are a few problems I have with the franchise in general. The first thing I want to say that in the past, Michael was sort of revered. You know, everyone thought of him as this legendary figure. I sort of likened him to an evil ghost that would reappear every so often like a ghost does and it's quite fitting that the movie is called Halloween because that's what he was at least in my opinion he was like an evil ghost that would reappear to scare people but only he would do it in the worst way but ever since it went under new management in 2005, after Mustafa Akkad died, all that is gone. And then Rob Zombie turned Michael into whatever this is. Look at this picture. This is supposed to be Michael Myers. I guess. But... Michael doesn't have that image anymore. I said this throughout my videos over the years. I remember when I was a kid and I would go on these Halloween websites and the theme song would come on and it would play the piano part first and then the strings would come in and they would come in real slowly. Dun, dun, dun. You guys know those notes. That's how they open the Halloween theme. And uh, Michael's face would emerge on the screen. On the computer screen. But they don't even have those kinds of websites anymore. But, you know, that's just my opinion. He's no longer this evil ghost anymore. Rob Zombie turned him into a joke. Here's my second problem. In 2015, Jamie Lee Curtis called Halloween Resurrection a joke. Now, I'm guessing that that's because she was killed off and because Busta Rhymes had a karate fight with him, as Marcus Dunstan calls it, a karate fight. Okay, that's her opinion. If she thinks it's a joke, Okay, it's a joke, but I want to point out something, and I'm going to tell you right up front, I have no way of proving this, so if you don't want to take my word for it, that's on you, I don't expect you to take my word for it, but you know, I actually met a Halloween fan back in 2000, and he said something to me that made a lot of sense. And yet it made me laugh at the same time. He said, I'll just run from Michael. He won't be able to find me. And I said, why, you, why do you say that? And he said to me, well, look at Lori. It took him 20 years to find her. That's a very significant statement and observation by this fan she wants to say that resurrection is a joke but h2o isn't a joke i guess do you realize that this man that's supposed to be pure evil couldn't even find one woman he couldn't even find lori because i hear my friend jewel sains from the lo3 variety channel 
He's another person, by the way. He's a totally different person. He's not the fan that I met back in 2000. I want to clear that up. But my friend Jewel said, why did it take Michael so long to kill Laurie? That's a good point. But Jewel, I would like to point out to you that like my friend said in 2000, Michael couldn't even find Laurie let alone kill her just think about this for a second how are you going to kill someone if you don't even know where they are he couldn't even find her let alone kill her so technically h2o is a joke that's my response to jamie lee because he couldn't even find Lori. so how is he supposed to kill her you're telling me that this supernatural force couldn't kill one woman? S seriously? This is the guy that was shot, burnt, stabbed, beaten, but he couldn't take out one chick. It took him 20 years to do this. Are you serious? I really don't get it. But anyway, like I said, that's her opinion. Earlier, I mentioned the fact that Jamie Lee called Resurrection a joke. But if my predictions are correct, then this movie will be a joke, this new movie. Because you'll basically have one senior citizen chasing another senior citizen. That's basically what this movie will be, because they're both old. Technically, they're both senior citizens. I just don't see where the horror is in that situation. This is supposed to be a horror movie. But two old people? I, I don't... I'm not catching the terror. I'm not seeing the terrifying aspect here. I'm not catching it. But I'll tell you what. If I'm wrong, I will come back on here and apologize. If I live to see 2018 and then I go into 2019, if God lets me live that long, I will come back on here and I will apologize to you guys publicly like I did for the box set. Because I, I can be wrong like anyone else. And I was wrong about the box set. And I admit that. I was wrong. I enjoyed the box set very much. Despite me trashing it for three months. I was wrong. It's hard to say sometimes. But I'm saying it. And I'll do the same thing for this movie. And I appreciate my friend Jewel on his channel, the Yellow 3 Variety channel, giving me that shout out. But the fact is, bro, I'm not always right. And if I'm wrong, I'll come back and apologize. I don't think I will be, but if I am, I will apologize. I want you guys to think about those three points that I've given you. The first one is Michael was revered he was Michael Myers the mythical supernatural serial killer that could appear and reappear at any time he was anywhere and everywhere like the devil that's what John Carpenter said about him he was like this ghost this evil wind but now, like, they've reduced him to this old guy. Like, I, I, I just don't understand that. Even in Resurrection, he was still supernatural. Some people will say, well, wasn't he 45 in Resurrection? Yes, he was. That is almost a senior citizen, because I know what you're going to try to pull. But in that timeline, he was still the supernatural Michael Myers. 
So the same rules don't apply. And again, my second key point is this. Jamie Lee says that Resurrection was a joke. Actually, H2O would be, because like I said, it took this guy 20 years to even find this woman, let alone kill her. So, that's just something for you guys to think about, something for you to chew on. I don't hate this Nick Castle person. I've never even met him. I just don't see the point of two senior citizens going to war with each other. How's that scary? I mean, I guess she can help him with some activity. You know, if he's constipated or something, I don't know. But anyway, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. I thank you for listening to me, even if you don't agree. I really appreciate it, and then I want to say it one more time. If I am wrong, I will come on here and publicly apologize. When I say wrong, I simply mean if it turns out that I actually do enjoy the movie, I'll apologize and be like, you know what, guys? I was wrong. I enjoyed the movie. It was great. I don't think I will, but if I do, you have my word. I will come on here and make a public apology. And on that note, I want to say that I'm the Michael Myers fanatic. And as always, I approve this message. Thank you very much.